Dear is heart your soul is earning for a career aligned with passion and purpose and i know you are afraid so i know you are afraid of starting over and trying something new i know you are afraid of giving something you are all and not receiving the results you want I know you are afraid of falling over and over again and starting from scratch. I know you are afraid of stepping into the unknown and not being pleased with what you will find. I know you are afraid that is why now is the best time to jump and let the universe catch you don't think that it would not half of receiving what you want is by knowing and it is already yours say goodbye to your old life you are about to be bombarded with blessings on blessings on blessings so convert your fears into faith watch the difference and it creates in your life and trust the process so things are always working in your favor and even when you think they are not so don't let your faith in your journey falter over a few unwanted mishaps continue being patient with every level life takes you to new beginnings always appear when you are no longer holding on to the past and the only competition you have is with the person you were yesterday let go of who you used to be and look forward to who you are becoming look back only to see how far you have come and nothing more your dreams are in the opposite direction of your past so keep going forward the effort you make today will have a huge impact on your life later on so don't you dare underestimate the power that is within you Dear souls know that the time has come or is very near to put down a burden or something that did not feel right this phase of your life is called and will be called freedom the universe is asking you to be patient and not react impulsively there is something about putting down this burden for a new life to begin or for something new to come in your life there is something about a second chance but for this to happen you have to come in the mindset of giving life a second chance this has not happened yet this message is a sign that you should get to this mindset you can put a pause to things in your life and if you want at this stage because it is normal to take a pause or hold everything till you feel aligned to start things again justice showing up twice tells that the month of november could be very significant and you can hold things or decisions till then and again start fresh so one thing is for sure don't react impulsively and run things that are already falling 
into place life has so much to offer provided you trust and give yourself a second chance so give yourself and your life another chance love things happen and then again good things happen so don't lose that hope things are being shaken up today suddenly heading towards a storm that you can feel brewing while storms can be challenging and they can also clear the air and if you think of thunderstorm the air can feel thick beforehand but straight afterwards the air feels lighter and fresher So this storm is clearing things that need to be clear at this time especially between you and another This storm is not meant to be destructive to you but to get things out in the open and to clear them so don't let things fester let the air be clear but do so in a constructive way where a way forward can be found for resolution and you may find this storm is not then as bad as it could have been but instead it gives that chance for things to clear in order for a new understanding and a new start to arise from it Dear souls no doubt your commitment to your spiritual journey has been recognized by the divine and you are continuing to reach higher levels of wisdom and understanding Trust the guidance that is coming to you now as the universe is standing with you giving you the support you need to make any decisions you need to make and to take actions in certain respects of your life you are always loved and supported by spirit and there are always guides there for you to talk to and to listen to so ask for a signs and you will receive them you are being asked at this time to make solely choices for yourself particularly in the sense of something that has been in your thoughts a lot so this may be different aspects of life or things for different people take action that is the line with the guidance that is coming from your soul it is leading you down a path of passion that will bring more joy to your life you are being prepared for our important mission there are so many new possibilities emerging in your reality so doors are opening in response to inner work you are doing as within so without you are passing difficult tests and challenges source is preparing you through these challenges to gain skills and life experience that you will need to reach the next level of abundance trust that everything is happening for your highest evolution there is nothing wrong in doing what is best for you all our lives we are told to sacrifice ourselves for other people's happiness but nobody teaches you how important it is to put your own needs first 
when you make yourself the priority in life everything starts shifting and it is gonna definitely piss off the people who benefited from your behavior so everyone just wants to do what is best for them so that they can live a life that is in alignment with their highest self but the programs of fear people pleasing shame etc stops them from raising their vibration start loving yourself start saying yes to yourself so that you can choose what is best for you and even can pull the strings of those who don't realize their own value you got to stop sacrificing yourself to manifest your highest self so dear souls know that someone cried to their mother about you because they have never met someone like you they always wanted a future with you even when they are not aware of the intensity of feelings they have for you and they always have that feeling that they want you in their future anyhow and they can't be happy or okay without you no matter how much stable they are how much famous they became how much rich they became nothing can make them feel fulfill like your presence can this person is struggling in their life a lot they are going through a transformation which is directly equal to a health journey right now nothing is working in their favor so they are going here and they posting their lives their work to get some financial stability to get some emotional acknowledgement from their surrounding but as soon as they stop doing anything everything falls down no one is coming to them to ask how they are feeling and this is making them missing you more and more so this person wants to spend their life with you they have always wanted to marry you your person have some strong self worth issues and because of it they never feel deserving of you and they never trust that they can marry you in this real world it does not matter how they treated you and what excuse they give to you for separation no contact or choosing someone else for many of you but they always wanted to marry you just after they meet you they got to know that you are a person for whom they are waiting for all they are life so you are their soulmate and they cannot replace you and your place in their life this person right now is also thinking about removing all the obstacles leaving the toxic persons and karmics and start a life with you so dear souls know that i see an invitation coming your way many of you will be receiving some sort of communication and or invite to meet up with your special person twin soul So this person will be hinting at their feelings at first and keeping their cards close to their chest to test the waters with you. And then as the day night goes on I see this person completely revealing their heartfelt feelings to you. This person is not going to let this opportunity slip away without letting you know how the feel 
they see things clearly now and would like to work on having a meaningful relationship with you they know they must offer you warmth protection peace and serenity in order to receive the same from you they now realize this is a very deep spiritual meaningful relationship and that you are their missing piece to their happiness they want to pursue and this relationship and continue to develop this infinite soul bond you both share i do feel you both undergone a very deep spiritual transformation or soon will be and as soon as that is complete meaning you both are in the state of being of what you prefer you both will be reunited you both are no longer going to let you fears lead the way but instead it see the challenges and triggers as lessons that you both need and can overcome in order to evolve and grow spiritually so to help you develop a deeper bond and bring you both closer together I do see this reuniting reconciliation being very passionate and very successful as it will improve your connection and relieve you both from any linger heartbreak. So dear souls know that Today is a day of planning and strategizing. The divine masculine isn't thinking mode now while list. This could be relating to a specific person. Remember, we have masculine and feminine energy within us. So our inner masculine energy may also be guiding us. to make some big plans there are big changes happening in the collective at this time and we are needing to figure out for what regarding them to be successful we need to utilize our internal divine masculine and divine feminine energies together in harmony it offers a part to least resistance when we do So whatever area in your life needs some planning take that time to think things through and get strategizing For those dominantly in the divine masculine energy you have some important life events you are planning some announcements you want to take some significant changes to your life you have waken up to something you must do and now is the time to plan out how you are going to achieve this you know you are needing a new approach to this So you have your thinking cap on figuring this all out visualize that future is your plan this out divine masculine as it will help you feel more motivated to move it from the thinking and planning to the doing stage so dear souls know that stop attaching yourself worth to things that exist outside of you things like your job where you live your achievements your perceived failures the opinion of friends or the approval of others please realize how these things that exist in your life are only things external things that fluctuate throughout the entirety of your life and when you tie your self worth to things that fluctuate your perception of your worth also wavers
and you begin to give your power to external factors that rule but true self worth cannot fluctuate as it is not a physical thing self worth when felt from within pays no attention to external factors it is a motionless yet never ending feeling of contentment joy and satisfaction for all that you are is your current self remove the attachments for things that exist outside of you and honor the person you are at your core and that is self love now is the time for your soul searching your soul is earning to express itself through your career and you are being asked to let go of limited beliefs that say you can't do what you love and still earn a living This limited way of thinking is keeping you from moving forward into a career in alignment with your soul's expression. It is possible to do what you love for a living and thrive. Let go of old conditioning. that says otherwise it's time for you to dream again spend time thinking about what makes you happy and ask your guides and angels for assistance with a new career if you focus on the pure joy of doing what you love the money will be a result of that joy Let go of all beliefs that tell you it's not possible. It is possible and you are getting ready to discover this very soon. Dream big and have a faith you are getting ready to experience a career transition that is in alignment with your soul. So dear souls know that when you are hard on yourself because you think you should be doing or completing or achieving more remember this if all you do in this life is stay true to yourself create meaningful connections give people a safe place to land cultivate your unique gifts and offer you all hearted presence to every new experience that finds you you are doing so much more than you will ever realize and if all you ever do is have a one honest conversation each day if all you ever do is show one person that they are truly seen if all you ever do is make someone laugh if all you ever do is remain brave and open and curious and kind if all you ever do is honor your beating heart if all you ever do is sit with your pain and give yourself compassion and heal and keep healing over and over again and if all you ever do is lean deeper into grace if all you ever do is offer love and acceptance in rooms where it feels like there is none then i promise you are doing so much more than you think following your dreams will require a phase of you fully believing in a vision no one else can see they are not made to automatically see what you see it is your vision it is for you to bring to life in a way only you can sure it may require others to get behind your vision for it to be a success but that happens as a by product of you being fully behind your vision first
focus less on others approval or acknowledgement and focus more on taking consistent and aligned action toward your dreams the way forward will always come it is your job to learn how to believe in you when you want your dreams to come true not everyone will care about your feelings respect you and be there for you the way you are you have a gift your sweet and tender soul holds everyone hurt so very delicately you see not everyone will treat you the same way so you must be cautious where you dedicate your time and energy not everyone you meet will make space in their heart for yours some people will come into your life with the intention of temporarily occupying space in your heart while others will want to live in you forever they will want to make a home in you know where to pour your con- concrete of love and lay your bricks of dedication so they don't come tumbling down open your doors wisely open them wide for those who intend to stay indefinitely the people you welcome in that are right for you will consistently reassure you that your investment in them was worth it So dear souls know that Healing taught me it's okay to be a complete stranger in a crowded room Healing show me there is no such thing as broken forever Healing taught me pain is inevitable but that we always get to choose whether we suffer or not Had I know healing would be a painful process and I probably would have avoided it for as long as I could ironically to heal is to feel the pain beneath you the pain that resides inside your bones the one you carry within your heart some days are all right other days are heavier but mostly healing is not the stomach wrenching pain you think it out to be so there are days when it is soft on your skin and gentle on your soul there are minutes in your day you feel as light as a feather So to heal is to wander into the abyss and discover your own light. It is a self-taught practice with a learning curve that exceeds our expectations, but inside all that discomfort and fear, you evolve. So you became more aware of patterns you thought were normal but were actually hurting people you forgive yourself for all the shortcomings and for all the pieces you neglected So I am not going to tell you that healing is not painful but I will tell you that at some point you will seek it that one day you will not regret that you did not do it sooner only that you are thankful for starting the process so some day you will realize healing does not prevent you from living out your day as you normally would but rather it shows you there is much more color in the world than the one you were used to seeing
you have heard the saying you gotta pick your battles but it really is great advice for everything every day sacrifice your inner peace and serenity for only what really matters When you start to get upset ask yourself is this a battle i really want to engage in even with internal conflict in your thoughts is this issue really that big of a deal let it go let the words and actions that usually anger you get you riled up let them pass right on by not your battle today your peace is more important so keep it so you may think if you want something want to accomplish something the only way is to try hard then try harder work more push figure it out if that way of operating brings you peace then more power to you but often the anxiety and stress far outweigh the temporary results there is another way relax breathe trust god look for his open doors go where his path leads and say yes be willing stay open such an easier way of operating God's plan and timing are perfect go with him and it will work out beautifully Dear souls no love is not a performance it has nothing to do with hugging on 30 seconds vlog which has go comments it has nothing to do with hurts left in comments on every picture on instagram it is not about the number of filters you put for the world to see you as perfect love is the raw real it it is in the hesitant hand holding the awkwardness of first meeting the tears of goodbye the sacrifice of slip for a conversation and the grit behind the lies so you tell to around each other and the unfinished urge to always have a little more times love is behind the scenes and love is behind the scenes type yes if you have faith and trust in universe